Hey everybody, it's Gigit here. I'm back with another video and I hope you guys are having a nice day, evening, morning, or whatever time it is. I hope you're having a good one. I'm actually sick today. If you're a case wondering why if you're wondering why my voice sounds a little different, I'm sick. I've been sick for over a day. And I'm kind of bored, so I decided to just do a video for you guys. Anyways, today's video for you guys is another edition of Questions and Answers. This is Questions and Answers number 35 for December 2022. And this will be the last Questions and Answers video for this year. And today I have a total of 32 questions to answer. And as always, I'll answer each question by username in alphabetical order. And if you have any questions you'd like me to answer in the next Q&A video, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will gladly answer them. But anyways, let's not waste any more time and let's take a look at today's questions I have to answer. So, let's do this. These first four questions come from Alan Parker and they're listed in under one comment. And the questions are the following. Number one, what's your opinion on the Lord of the Rings? Number two, what's your opinion on Platoon? Number three, what's your opinion on The Devil's Advocate? And number four, what's your favorite movies from 2006? Uh, number one, The Lord of the Rings movies are great and the books are great. I have no plans on ever watching Rings of Power. I don't give a shit what anyone says, but I have zero interest in Rings of Power. Speaking of Lord of the Rings, I actually was watching The Two Towers before recording this video. I was watching the extended cut version for the first time. And I think the extended cut version is better than the theatrical cut. I'll definitely check out the extended cut for The Return of the King soon. Anyways, uh, number two. I already answered this one in a previous Q&A video. I have not seen Platoon, but I'll definitely check it out eventually. Number three, I have not seen The Devil's Advocate. And number four, my favorite movies from 2006... Um, they are Paprika, The Departed, which is also my favorite Scorsese movie. Uh, Little Miss Sunshine's a great one, which I actually watched for the first time a couple weeks ago. I really enjoyed that movie. And there's a couple of other ones from 2006 that I enjoyed. And actually, there's four more questions from Alan Parker, and they're in a separate comment. But all the all the other questions from... Alan Parker are in one comment and these other questions are the following number one what's your opinion on Kill Bill volume one number two what's your opinion on The Doors 1991 movie number three what's your opinion on Total Recall and number four what is your opinion on Coming to America number one Kill Bill volume one is an awesome movie and volume two is great uh, number two I have not seen The Doors but I've heard of it Number three, I have not seen Total Recall. Number four, Coming to America is a great comedy. The sequel, on the other hand, Coming to America is dog shit. Don't even bother with Coming to America. Just stick with the original. The second one's a piece of shit. And those are the questions from Alan Parker. Thanks for the questions, Alan Parker. And uh, we're going to move on to some other questions I have to answer. The next seven questions all come from Andy Kishore. And they're all in separate comments. So uh, the first question from Andy Keyshore is, Are you aware of Fallout 76 Nuka World on tour update? I have not. I did not know there was an update for that. Also, I don't play Fallout 76 because that game blows. Although I hear people say the game is somewhat improved from, from release. I don't have any plans on ever going back into 76, Fallout 76. <clears throat> Um, the next one is, excuse me, are you aware of the Better Call Saul spinoff series called Better Call Saul Percent Slipping Jimmy that premiered on May 23rd, 2022? I also heard it's not that good. I've heard of it and I have not seen it and I don't ever want to see it because why the hell would they make an animated version of Better Call Saul? They must have been high when they created that shit. Like just what the hell, man? <clears throat> Next one is how long have you how long have you been using Netflix for? Ten years. I've been using Netflix for ten years. Um, the next one is are you aware that another trailer for the Super Mario 
the Super Mario Brothers movie just dropped on November 29th, 2022. Yeah, I've seen it. It looks decent by the trailer, but I'll be honest, I think Chris Pratt's impression of Mario isn't very good. <clears throat> but it might be a decent movie. We'll just have to wait and see. The next one from Andy Keyshore is, From what I've heard, you are aspiring to be a writer of what exactly or which things. I aspire to be a novelist, maybe even a screenwriter. Who knows? I'm not going to say what exactly, but it's a secret. But yeah, I aspire to be a writer of some sort. <clears throat> The next one from Andy Kishore is, are you aware that South Park post-COVID and the return of COVID got released bundled together on DVD and Blu-ray on December 6, 2022? Uh, no, I didn't know that. The next one from Andy Kishore is, are you aware that Better Call Saul Season 6 was released on DVD and Blu-ray on December 6th? 2022 there is also better call Saul the complete series on dvd and blu-ray that was released on the same day but you own the but you already have the previous seasons on dvd and blu-ray yeah i'm aware of it i actually saw a copy of it when i went to um to sunrise records the other day in a vlog video i did i didn't pick it up though but i will pick it up soon just out of the whole series i still gotta upgrade seasons one two and three to blu-ray I have them on DVD, and I have seasons four and five on Blu-ray. And actually, those are all the questions from Andy Keyshore. Uh, thanks for the questions, Andy Keyshore. The next question comes from Chase Shepard, and his question is, What are your thoughts on Better Call Saul? Better Call Saul, a great spinoff to Breaking Bad, and honestly, I think the show is slightly better than Breaking Bad, but Breaking Bad's still a great show, though. <clears throat> I love Better Call Saul, and it was just damn good. So yeah, that's the question from Chase Shepard. Thanks for the question, Chase Shepard. These next five questions all come from Donkey Man, and they're all in separate comments. The first of the five questions are, is, what do you think of Vera Farmiga? Vera Farmiga is a really good actress. She was in movies like The Departed, The Boy, the Boy in the Striped Pajamas, uh, I believe she was in a TV show called Bates Motel. I have never seen that show, but I do want to check it out someday. And, um, I don't know. She's a really good actress. Uh, the next one from Donkey Man is, what do you think of Kira Knightley? Same reason with uh, Vera Farmiga. Really good actress. She was in, I believe, the first three Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Well, she was in them, but I don't know if she was in the other ones after three I haven't seen 4 and 5, though. Um, she was also in A Dangerous Method, which was... She was pretty good in that one, too. And a couple of other movies she was in, she was good in. Um, the next one... Hold up. Yeah, the next one is... What's your opinion on Knocked Up? I haven't seen that movie in a long time, but I remember that movie being pretty funny. It's a pretty funny Judd Apatow movie. Uh, the next one is, what do you think of Robert Pattinson? A uh, really good actor. I don't think him being in the Twilight movies really damaged his career. It really kind of brought him to the spotlight, and then he would later be in great movies like The Lighthouse and so on. But he was really good in that one. But I do think Robert Pattinson's a really good actor. And the last one from Donkey Man is, what's your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show is a tie between The Americans and Six Feet Under. Both of those shows are amazing, and they're just really, really great shows. They are two completely different shows, but I had a hard choice picking what's my number one favorite show. But my number one favorite TV show is a tie between, like I said, The Americans and Six Feet Under. Great shows if you haven't seen them, check them out. And those are the questions from Donkey Man. Thanks for the questions, Donkey Man. These next five questions come from Irwin's Movie Corner. And all five questions are listed under one comment. And the questions are the following. Number one, what's your opinion on The Matrix with Keanu Reeves? Number two, what's your opinion on Poltergeist? Number three, what's your opinion on Almost Famous from director Cameron Crowe? 
Number four, what's your opinion on Days of Thunder with Tom Cruise? Number five, what's your opinion on Easy Rider with Jack Nicholson and Dennis Hopper? Number one, I know I answered this one a while ago, but I have not seen The Matrix or any of the sequels, but I will check them out one day. Number two, I've seen Poltergeist. Poltergeist is a classic. I own that movie on DVD, but I do plan to upgrade it to Blu-ray one of these days if I can find it. Uh, number three, Almost Famous is one of my all-time favorite movies. It's just a great film. I own it on 4K Blu-ray in a steelbook with both the theatrical and the bootleg cut slash director's cut, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, number four, I know I answered this one in a recent Q&A video. I have not seen Days of Thunder, but I've heard of it. And number five, I have seen Easy Rider. I've seen that movie twice. The last time I watched it was back in August, and it's a pretty good movie. I know there's a sequel to, well, a loosely based sequel that came out in 2012, but I got no interest in checking out the sequel. So those are the questions from Irvin's Movie Corner, and uh, thank you for the questions, Irvin's Movie Corner, and uh, let's let's move on. All right, guys, there's only six questions left, and they all come from that movie nerd forty four. And um, the first of the six comments is, "What do you think of John Travolta?" I think John Travolta is a really good actor, regardless of whether the film he's in is good or the other film is bad. He did some good films, some bad films. But overall, all around, I think John Travolta is a good actor. Uh, number The next question is, what do you think of Kurt Russell? Um, haven't seen too many movies with Kurt Russell, but I do, from what I've seen, I think he's a pretty good actor. I've seen him in movies like Escape from New York, Death Proof, and The Hateful Eight. I thought it was good in that one, too. Uh, the next one is, what do you think of filmmaker Cameron Crowe? I've only watched Almost Famous. Like I said earlier in the video, Almost Famous is one of my all-time favorite movies. But uh, that's the only film I've seen from Cameron, Cur Cameron Crowe. I do own Vanilla Sky on DVD and uh, Jerry Maguire on Blu-ray and VHS, which I'm probably going to get rid of my VHS copy. But I haven't seen those two movies yet. I will check those two movies out soon. <clears throat> the next the next question is um are you looking forward for the new to the new indiana jones film the dial of destiny there is a trailer that was released at the beginning of this month um it might be good who knows hopefully it'll be better than kingdom of the crystal skull and surprisingly, it's not going to be directed by Steven Spielberg, who directed the first four movies. It's directed by James Mangold, the same guy that directed Logan and uh, the remake of 310 to Yuma. Hopefully it'll be good. <clears throat> and um, the next question is, have you heard of the film The Mosquito Coast? It is a Peter Weir film directed drama starring Harrison Ford, Helen Mirren, and the late River Phoenix. It is based on the 1981 novel by Paul Farrell. Um, haven't heard of it until I saw this comment, but maybe I'll check it out one day. I've never heard of it, though. And the last question for this video, and also the last question for this video is, what are your thoughts on Quentin Tarantino making a limited miniseries by next year? It should be pretty cool. I can't wait to see what it is exactly. It's going to be a surprise, I bet. But hopefully it'll be good. And those are all the questions from that Nerd 44 And those are all the questions for this video. Special thanks to everybody for submitting all their questions. And this year I've answered a total of 332 questions. And yep. So that's about it for today's video, everybody. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more videos like this. And follow me on my social medias. The links are in the description down below. And um, if you have any questions you'd like me to answer in the next Q&A video, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I will gladly answer them. But anyways, until next time, this is Keekin Shepherd signing off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everybody. Peace out.